Welcome back. We are here looking at the, the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 31st, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have been just been flat for the last uh, for the last week. We did have this rally here, but since then we we basically gone sideways. We're trading at 4,209 at this current stage, and uh, the bottom of the market, 15 moving average down here at 4,124, and the top of the market around 4,238. Technical indicators, they are fairly bullish at this current stage, but uh, it is uh, Memorial Day, and uh, there's probably not going to be that much action in the, the in the stock market or indices or major moves uh, will probably not occur um, on Monday session. But uh, top of this market is around uh, 4,238, um, give or take, and the bottom of the market roughly at 4,120. So let's look at Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is, uh, well, looking very negative. It looks like we're going to head back towards the 20 exponential. And uh, if that basically breaks, then we could see this drop back towards the, the 50 uh, moving average at the 33,850, give or take. Towards the upside, we have uh, the highs here of the 34,900. If you look at technical indicators, they are... Well, they're fairly bullish. The MACD is bullish, that's a, or basically flat here. And the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is also fairly flat. Uh, we are, uh, well, yeah, nothing really is happening here at the, at the point. We could see uh, resistance here at uh, 13,900, give or take. And uh, to the downside, 13,545 or the middle of the bullish band, that should also offer quite a lot of, of support. If we break below that, then we could head back towards 13,000. Technical indicators, they are, they are still bullish, but they are turning around. So, so there has basically been no movement, uh, little or no movement in NASDAQ uh, the last week. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX uh, did go back and forth on uh, on uh, last week. We did hit the hit the top here, all time highs. Head back head back towards the 50, uh, 20 exponential down here at fifteen thousand three hundred and fifty, and then rallied. So we went back and forward on Friday, settled at fifteen thousand four hundred and ninety. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly flat. MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, CGI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. Right below the 20 exponential, opens the door to 50, down here at 15,171. And that should be quite a lot of, of, of uh, uh, quite a lot of support. To the upside, we have the top of the bullish band here at 15,632. So let's look at the UK FTSE. So it's it was not very bullish last week. Uh, we did break towards uh, seven thousand, and seven thousand looks like it's going to be the bottom here. Break below that, opens the door to the fifty. And the last time we got towards the fifty, it has been absolutely um, crushing it. So pull back to here. A massive amount of buying occurs when when we get close to the fifty. To the upside, the, the top of the bullish band is 7,113. That should offer quite a lot of resistance. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is flat, CGI is uh, also flat, and RSI is also flat. So let's look at the China 50. So this really took off uh, last week. It was a Wednesday where we had a massive move of 5% to the upside, and then we kind of went sideways and uh, it's fairly expected for this to pull back we're on the edge of being overbought barely overstretched this is a very negative candlestick and uh, technical indicators are, st are still bullish but they are slowly turning around so a pullback towards the top of these range here roughly 7700 could be where this continued to bounce we have the 15 20 expansion moving this way which should also offer support 
And uh, yes, next target will most likely be 19,000. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck. And thank you very much.